Welcome back, everybody. We're, well, I'm by myself. We're having some work done at the house today. So Carla stayed at home. I'm filming by myself. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of, mm, forgot the microphone. I turned it on though. So I'm gonna do a little bit of filming on the way out. Carla's at home. We're having some work done at the house. So she's staying home so that can get done. Uh, just a little bit of <clears throat> video on the way out to the property. Um, coming from where we live out to the property, there's about a mile or so, maybe two, of gravel road on the way out there. It's kind of cool. We got some, used to be some cows out here. I don't know what happened. They're gone now. Maybe they sold them. Um, but there's a couple little cool features on the way out. I got the radio playing a little bit. Um, there's a hunting club on the way out here. Just a couple of little cool things. They keep care of this gravel road pretty well. Sometimes it slacked off a little bit and there's big old holes that we've got to drive around. But for the most part, they keep it going pretty good. This property here, I think that's some sort of sanctuary or something. He's had several different kinds of animals out here um, that show up in really bad shape. There's been some horses and some donkeys and some cows that um, I think he's just rehabbing them and then the animals are moving on to different homes. This is kind of a sketchy area that gets pretty bumpy sometimes when they slack off on taking care of the road, but it's been taken care of pretty good lately. There's quite a drop off over here. And the hunting club that I was talking about is this area on the left here. We're coming up on a one lane bridge that's pretty cool. It's fun to stop on it in the summertime. You can see fish swimming in there, turtles basking on rocks. It's pretty cool. We stop pretty much every time just to see if we can see some turtles or some fish. There's usually some cows off to the right over here. I don't know where they are right now. They move them quite a bit, so you never know where they're gonna be. I'm coming up to the property to check the traps <clears throat> and to uh, meet the electric company so we can figure out where we're gonna put our electric service. And then here in a couple of weeks, probably, here's that bridge. pretty cool and it's pretty full there's the other side just a one laner <clears throat> when we were shopping for properties the camera's going weird when we were shopping for properties you know this was the way we came this is the way the GPS brought us and there's a sign right before there that said says that the bridge is dangerous when it's underwater obviously so we were kind of worried about it like how am I gonna get out to go to work if it rains really hard well so far we haven't seen the bridge underwater it hasn't happened but that was kind of a check mark against buying the property to begin with
but we really don't have to worry about it because here's the road coming up to the property. You can see our fence. So this road goes straight through to Highway 5, which is actually a straight shot to my work. And there's no flooding dangers that way. I'm going to pause it for a minute so I can open the gate. And we'll be back. Okay, I got the gate open. It'd help if I put it in gear if I'm going to go somewhere. We've got about 10 minutes and I'm going to show you that, you know, I don't hike back to where I set the traps and I hunt. I've got a little road type of thing that just driving back and forth on it. It's just kind of made a road back here. It's kind of bumpy. And this little, there's a little seasonal creek right here. No big deal. I'm just going to run back here really quick. See what we got going on. Got pretty close neighbors. And that's the road I've taken you when we were taking the tour. I took you back on that road. <clears throat> I don't have that trap set because I'm going to move it. I saved the the guts and the skin of the squirrel that I cleaned the other day. And I'm going to use it as bait on the foothold traps. Well, the traps always end up tripped. Especially that big one. It drives me crazy. Let's get out. I'm going to shut her off. Get out and look a little bit. I don't know why anything is getting in there and getting trapped. Houdini animals is what we have. Houdini animals. Potted meat empty. All of the cat food is gone. But nothing ever gets trapped in it. Driving me insane. And this trap over here all the other squirrels probably watched and said, oh, heck no. This isn't even tripped. See, you can see the, the shot from here. Won't be able to see it when the leaves are on the trees. So I'll be able to know if he's here. Nothing has even got in that thing. Oh well, it's probably not going to be a very long video. But, I'll tell you, I found this gravel when I was playing with the tractor a few weeks ago. I thought it was just a mound of dirt, but it ends up being gravel. This can actually be used. It's not really that useful, but I do know that I can use it for the chickens when we get chickens. Chickens need to have some gravel small rock that they can eat to fill their craw so the food that they eat can be ground up all right i'm gonna go back up make sure the guy knows that i'm i'm there when he shows up so like i said it's probably going to be a short video because there's nothing in the traps Well, I'm back, and the first electric guy just left. He's driving down the road. A uh, little bit of change of plans of where we thought we were going to put the pole. They won't bring the trucks to dig the hole for the pole over the water meter. So I'll show you the original plan of where we wanted it. There's a previous video of me cutting down a tree. When I talked to this guy the first time, 
the plan was to put it right over here where I cut this tree down. That way I'd have a short run to the shop and a not too long of a run to the house. Well, now since they won't drive over that, right here where this flag is, is where they're gonna put the pole right up against the fence. They're gonna drive through the ditch and come over the fence and put the pole right here. <clears throat> they don't call ahead of time when they're gonna come out. So I have to get the meter loop built and ready to go and have it out here for whenever they're gonna come from as close to the beginning of next week to possibly three weeks out. So I'm gonna head home and maybe come back out in a little bit and set the traps. Well, it's about 6.30 at night and we decided to come check the traps because I've been working nine hour shifts. Looky what we got. I don't think he's very happy. Looks like the trap works, folks. Let's go over here and check the other one really quick before I take care of this coon. I even remember where I put it. Nothing in the squirrel trap, they must be smarter. <laughs> but we finally have success. So exciting. There will be one less turkey egg eater. All right, I'm going to take care of this properly and thank you for watching. Please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would surely appreciate it. Y'all have a great night. I'm gonna set these traps again probably Monday. Maybe Monday, we'll see. Because I'm off, off work Tuesday. Thanks you guys. That was Sophie growling at herself in the side mirror. What a doofus.